Today we automate Flora and get into some cool Man of Steel things. All right, so let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome all of you to All of Fabric 5. Uh, yes, so something I want to go ahead and get started really quick is I need to adjust the position of my mic real quick. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, I want to go ahead and make the flower pouch for Batania. As you can see from the title of today, we got some fun stuff planned. So in order to, to I guess, make some progress in the quest book, if we look here at Batania... Um, if we do the the little flower uh, bag here, it will tell us all of the flowers we've gotten and haven't gotten. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. So if we just put this here, basically make the hopper. Yes, here's our flower pouch. Okay, and there we go. So we got some of that, and now we do this. And we have all of them. We have every single one of them. Very, very cool. We're going to have to wait a second for these to go away. There's a lot of them. Holy heck. Still having more. Okay. So now that those are all done, uh, we can go ahead and get into the endo flames. So we're going to put these in here. Good thing is they can only go into certain spots. Yeah, we have every single spot filled. That is amazing. So we don't need a flower pouch anymore. We need the endo flame. So we need two brown petals, a light gray petal, and a red petal. Um, so yeah, we'll do two of those, one of these, and then light gray. So that will keep all of them. I believe we're gonna make two of these if we use this that way we're not wasting any uh because we'd have all of the components to make another one left over so we're not gonna do that we also need seeds seeds we've got six perfect that is enough that will suffice okay so these go here and if i go like this like this and like this if we look at it, yes it tells us endo flame got it amazing cool beans so we got that what do we get random award Dragon fruit sapling. We have three of them. That is cool. We also unlocked another quest with that. Okay, so it didn't require us to, we didn't get anything from that. But we do have the endo flame, which will allow us to create flora. So we're gonna go ahead and make another one of these real quick. There we go. And then we just need to throw it like that. Yes, so we have our second endo flame. Very cool. Uh, let us see. Yes, yeah, so what these do is these act like furnaces, uh, and instead of cooking items, they will give us flora, which is basically the power source of Batania. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is work on the, we're going to get a, a wand of the forest, and then we're going to get a mana spreader. So put this here, and then mana spreader. Perfect. So we just need a petal and a piece of gold. Do I, do I got any gold yet? I have. Amazing. That makes things so much easier. Let's get some living wood. And we can create our mana spreader. Beautiful. We got that. Um, I guess not. Living wood. Oh, you got it. Oh. Oh, I think I wasted some wood. I, mean, I turned them into planks. I'm sorry, wood. You gotta go straight up from the planks to do that. Uh, or the logs, sorry. That's right, we have the flower pouch. That is where those are stored. Let's see, we have 14, 14. Yeah, I wanna use, well, yeah, we're gonna use, we're gonna use lime, because we can. Okay, and then here we go, wand of the forest. Booyah. So we got those two lines done in the quest. Random award. What did we get? A mana flask. Okay. And we got a dispenser. So there's a way to automate the production of flora. And I did cook up a whole bunch of charcoal somewhere. Yes. So that we can automate it a bit. We have, we have a bit of redstone. We might be able to pull something off here. Um... Okay, so we're also gonna automate Flora today, which is a really cool thing. 
So here we go. This is where it's going to drop down onto. Let's do one of these. Um, yeah, we're going to break the block below it real quick. So we can place this here. Oops, sorry, end of flame. All right, and so that's going to drop the coal there. So we want this to trigger when an item disappears from it. So let's let's give that a try real quick. Where are my sticks? We need a redstone torch. All right, and then I'm going to get some cobblestone. I don't have any cobblestone left, so we are going to use marble because marble is beautiful. What can I do with this? Can I just do it like that? Two by two. Yes, marble blocks. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to put this here, this here. And can we do this? And so when the item disappears. Yep, there we go. We've already got it. So we fill this up with that. I'm going to put one on here. The endo flame should grab it. Oh, I need to take my magnet off. Okay. Um, put this here. Oh, it doesn't have a mana spreader. That makes sense. We can put this here like so we'll link it up and then that should take it yep and then we can link this up to this okay it might do that too uh i want uh can we turn that into a button we cannot okay let's get a button just so we can start it when it does that um, that, that does tend to happen because, let's just be honest, dispensers are not precise things to be able to drop. Um, this probably won't do anything. Yeah. So, I almost need the button to be here. I think that's okay, honestly. Okay, so we are generating mana. Beautiful. Now what we can go ahead and do is we'll take some of the iron that we have. Uh, first of all, we'll convert these nuggets that we found into ingots as well. And we can throw these into the mana pool after a certain amount of time, like we do. And we get mana steel. So that was another quest that I kind of skipped over. Um, yes, this we turn this into Man of Steel. We get a random reward. A magma ring? What does this do? Uh, shift click to enable. Fire resistance. That is cool. I dig it. Love to see it. So yeah, um, if you look at that little arrow, see how the X is on it, that means that there's not enough mana in there uh, for... Like a mana or a mana steel ingot to be created from normal iron. Uh, but yeah, we actually can turn these into tools, which is what I wanted to go ahead and do. Uh, but we will also need to get a mana ring, which will hold some mana for us. And I need to find the recipe. Yeah, band of mana here. And so we'll need a mana tablet, which requires either a mana pearl or a mana diamond. Great thing is we can make both of those pretty easily. Um, and then the other cool thing is that we don't have to touch that that uh, that setup. Like, those will continue to run and generate mana. We can always upgrade it by adding more uh, endo flames so that they will all link up. Like, we can have a total, I think, of six, maybe more. I don't know. But you can have one here, one here, one there, one there. So it makes sense to just kind of make a couple more. So there's a weird noise going on. It's got me a little nervy, a little nervous. Killed this slime because I thought maybe uh, wouldn't be that slime, would it? No. 
There was a weird noise that just occurred. Uh, but I did go ahead and make a total of four more of the endo flames. So we can go ahead and get six of these guys going. Uh, I don't know what the limit is. I'm going to make sure these are all linked. I think they automatically... Yeah, I think they're linked, but I'm just going to double check. Okay. So uh, I do have more of the charcoal in here. And we can add that in. I'll leave one, and if I throw this in there correctly, it will trigger the chain reaction. Okay, they're starting to go, and what I'm waiting for is this thing should start to just kind of spit out mana pretty quick. Yep, it's pretty fast. Okay, see that is the problem. I need like a precise dropper um but yes let us see here iron ingot we're good to go good to go we're generating mana here pretty good okay so we've got six let's go ahead and make an upgraded pickaxe wait is that the most efficient way to use mana yeah i think so um i do we do need to make one of these a mana pearl that unlocks this here, which is the runic altar. And it's not too expensive. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that is going to... Oh, I have three. I didn't realize I had that many ender pearls. I thought I only had one. What a pleasant surprise. Well, shoot. <laughs> this is proven to be a little bit more tedious because of how inconsistent the dispensers are when they come to placing items. Like, it plays that one good. But, like, that one's there. Hmm. If I put glass here, if I move this a little further away, does it still link up? It does. Okay, we're going to make it so that they can't do that anymore because that is highly annoying. We're going to put glass there. All right, so it should trigger the pressure plate no matter what. Um, I want to go through all of this supply. Oop, didn't get it. Okay. There we go. Those are all linked up. It can do nothing but be on the pressure plate. Yes, this is good. This is working great. Okay. So now we have enough for a mana pearl. Beautiful. Beautiful, we got it. Okay, so some living stone. Actually, we need one more. And then if we go over the top like this, mana pearl, runic altar. Okay, this will allow us to make those runes because it's a runic altar. We got it. Strawberry jam, that's delish. Okay. So the rune of fire. I don't actually know what this allows us to do. I think it lets us craft certain. Yes, okay, so this lets us craft certain flowers, which is good. We'll generate more flora with that. So that is good. What is that thing? Dandelion? I don't know. That looks cool. But okay, so we got the mana pearl too. Auto feeder module. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay, so I think next we make the mana lens, which is just four mana steel ingots. We we do have that, so we can go ahead and make the mana lens. Let's let's knock that out of the park. Okay, so mana lens. There we go. Next part of the quest. Uh, I don't know what that was. Rabatouche. What are you? Open the portal to Alfheim. Hmm. The knowledge of Alfheim's mana handling methods comes, of course, with an array of new and useful mana lenses. Okay. Functional like common electron lens. Take effect fired from a mana spreader. Okay. I think that's all right. What do these do? Kindle gravity. Okay, the reason why we want Botania is these things. Trinket case. That is not expensive. We need just a few more mana steel ingots. We got them. We'll grab 
this too. We also need some wood for a chest. All right, and I believe it was this, 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 and this. Trinket case. Ooh, that looks interesting. Can I put that in there? Can I put that in there? Put that, nope. We put trinkets in it, I guess. We got a basket. Oh, that's cool. I like that basket. I like that basket a lot. Okay, so this is what we've unlocked. Band of Mana, I think that's our first go-to. Cloak of Invisibility, Cloak of Sin, Cloak of Balance, Cloak of Virtue. Ooh, Gaia Spirit. Ooh, we're not going to be doing that for a bit. All right, so Band of Mana. This is our next goal. We need a mana tablet. All right, so we're going to take our... Actually, no, we're going to use a... Can we use an Pro for this? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Don't have to waste my one diamond. We have enough mana already. Very cool. Don't throw it. I don't know if you can throw a mana pearl, but we're not going to risk it. There are no biscuits to risk it for. All right. Mana tablet and then band of mana. We need two more ingots. I think I'm fresh out of iron. Yeah, I'm going to need to go mining to get some iron, because I am all out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back in a minute. My journey was successful. We have 21 iron ingots. I'm going to see how many of these I get back. All of them. Heck, yes. That's crazy good. Oh, I don't need this block up here anymore. It looks kind of silly. Good. We have it, everyone. I am very excited. It is very great. Okay. So, what are we doing? Yes, ring or band of mana. Band of mana. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. All right. So, band of mana. This will store mana for us. And so, we'll be able to use mana uh, when we get, like, higher up into things. So, if we... I don't think that worked. No, didn't work. We need to grab the wand. Um, so, there are certain items in the game that will require mana to use them. Um, and so we'll need the band of mana to go ahead and do that. So if we do this and we throw that in now, oh, that's a cool effect. Did you see that? That was cool. Okay. Cool. So we can also move mana. So if we have more than one setup for this, um, wait, do we, do we put this on the ring trinket slot? Oh, ah. Okay, so that does go on, but we have the ability, wait, can we see it on our finger? No, that's sad, but we do have, wait, where happened? How? Oh, okay, so it's been disabled. Um, hmm. That's how we do it. We just break that red, so now we'll get it restart. Perfect. If I have that ring on, it, it'll, like, I'll pull this thing. What is this? Uh, superstitious hat applies extra level of looting to kill entities. Oh, my goodness. We have looting one when we kill things? Now that's amazing. I'm just going to dump all this stuff out of my inventory, except for those and that. I need to keep those. Okay, so we need to go ahead and make a better pickaxe. Bam a lamb. There's our man of steel pickaxe. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and make an axe. There we go. Man of steel axe. Um, I don't know the durability difference on that. That's okay. And then there's our shovel. So all those have been upgraded. We just need two more for the sword. And we go like this. Bam, mana steel sword. So we get an extra thing of attack. We get more attack speed. Harvest level is higher. Harvest level is higher. Great. Oh my goodness, we have mana steel tools. What about a chest piece? Can I make a chest piece? That would really be helpful. Um... Yes, because I'm just wearing a gold one. So now we have a Man of Steel chest piece. Man, that looks sexy. <laughs> it looks kind of quirky. But we have that Dunsky. Very cool. Fire protection. We're okay. And then glow. What, are glow? what do glow sticks do? I found the...
so confused. I think you just throw them and they stick to things. Can I throw it at the ceiling? No. So just go to the floor. So it does mean I can throw some lighting, which is pretty cool when you think about it. But yes, we have some Man of Steel armor. We got Man of Steel tools. Let's mine something. All right. So here we go. We got some marble here. And... Hang on a second. Hey, hang on a second. We're using mana instead of durability. Please don't. Okay. We're using mana instead of durability. Holy crap, dudes. Oh my gosh, we have a renew we have renewable tools. What? I didn't know it did this. This is amazing. Okay. Um, you go in there. Probably done. That is fine. But we, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We use mana instead of durability on our tools and maybe even our armor. 10% less mana cost on mana, tools, and rods. Oh my goodness. So we definitely need to go mining for more iron. We're already out of it again. Oh my goodness. That is amazing, guys. I'm so excited. And we get a looting effect. Oh, the glorious time. Okay, now do we? what do we have for chests in the game? I want to check those out real quick. Do we have any iron chests? Old iron chest? Iron chest. Yes, okay. So it's the same, sim same simple recipe. We're going to replace all of these with iron chests. Again, we'll knock them back. Um, but we'll have to do that when I have more iron. Now, the way to get more iron, we need, obviously, the, the raw iron. But there is a way to duplicate it. So we'll get two iron ingots for every one raw iron. That's something I'm very interested in. Is there a way to get this from something else? So, like, uh, eventually, wait, pirate, okay. I want to get, obviously, fortune. Okay. Interesting. Creeper overhaul. If we kill these guys, we have a chance of getting it. Okay, interesting. Okay, so what I want to see here is when you process it with a macerator, you get two, okay, so you have a probability of 50% for another output. I don't know if that goes up, but this uses EU. This is using modern industrialization, which we can get into this actually fairly easy, though I do need to have like a like a one to two hour mining session between episodes before we, we really grind into this. Um, but yeah, bronze macerator. We need two diamonds, obviously copper gears. Uh, and then we need f pipes. Um, yeah, so it depends on what glass type we use. But then you need the copper rotors, which use these copper blades. So we need a lot of copper to do this. We also need a compressor or a forge hammer, which is this here, which requires block of steel. It requires a lot of iron to make that. So that gives us two if we use steel. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five. We need 45, 46, 47, 48, 40. 49 pieces of iron just to get to this forge hammer. And then we also need an iron hammer, which uses large iron plates, which no two required. So we just smack it, I guess, a couple of times. It says two to one. Okay. Um, so yeah, we definitely need probably two to three stacks of iron, um, to probably get through to that. And then we also need to create EU for the macerator. Um, I guess that requires EU. Let's check out modern industrialization. Ooh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever used this mod before, so I'm actually very excited to do so. Um, boiler, bronze furnace... Okay, so I don't know if we're able to use this, but we do have a couple of generators. This is a burnable generator, and this basically acts like a furnace to smelt items down. And um, yeah, so we just need a couple pieces of iron. This is something I want to try. I don't know if it's compatible with the macerator, but I believe there are some things in the pack that might allow it to be. Diesel generator, I believe. It's a basalt generator. Ooh, we have cobblestone generators in here, so that's fantastic. 
Um, turbo diesel generator, modern industrialization. So diesel generator looks to be very expensive. Make it in the assembler or in this. Okay, that's very interesting. I do think we're gonna go ahead and try the burnable generator first uh, and see if we can get that to work because that would be amazing. Enchantment generator. Yeah, it's using, this uses enchanted books to create power. I wonder what is the most power we get from something. This one, I don't even know. I can't see it. It's all the way off here. Reduce the burn. It's probably fire protection. Blast protection. Yep, I don't know. I don't know, but we're definitely going to be looking into those. Let's see how... Oh, there's a creeper. We're running away. And now he's outside. If I just sprint out, we'll be okay. Oh my gosh, no we're not. <laughs> I didn't realize he was right outside the door. Oh my gosh. What have I done? What have I done to my beautiful house? It's destroyed. Oh no. The chaos, the agony. Oh dear lord. What have we what have I done? You guys didn't do anything. You guys were smart. You were probably, turtle, don't do it. That's really stupid. And I was like, I'm just going to send it, my dudes. So let's see, durability. So if you look at that little blue bar that's kind of flashing down on the bottom left, that's what I'm looking at. And I don't know if... Oh, it did go down. Okay, so... This does use mana, but doesn't use a lot of it. So that's going to be amazing. I am so excited for our adventures together. Ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to repair this house off camera. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, the horror, the pain. How could I let this happen to our beautiful home? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll fill all of it in. Even if it kills me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>